as they come to lap 76, closing up on De Angelis, and Arnu pops out and has a look. That's Jody Schechter in the background has been lapped. Arnu has another look. And Villeneuve locks up his tyres. He is trying very, very hard indeed. Fourth gear, up into fifth when they go over the crest of the hill, up to 160, 165 miles an hour as they come down to the right-hander at Vilroy. And it's there that they can pass, and Arnoux's going to do it. René Arnoux is challenging for second as they come up to Vilroy, but Villeneuve will not give way. Arnoux's got the inside line and the shorter line. And he takes second place as they go into the right-hander and the left at Sablier. And now Renault's indeed are first and second in the French Grand Prix. And the French crowd is going mad, roaring in the background. Well, this is incredible. The twin turbo Renault's appeared at Monaco, not their circuit. And now we're into the start of the 79th and last lap but one with René Arnoux second and Villeneuve go. Incredible. Villeneuve stood on everything, locked up his tyres, got the line and he's back into second position on the last lap but one and the French crowd aren't very happy about that and who can blame them? This is incredible, this is the 79th lap in this 80 lap historic French Grand Prix, the oldest Grand Prix of them all, this is the 65th Grand Prix and there has never been a more exciting battle for a major position than this one with such French interest. Jabwe still ahead. And he's closed right up on Villeneuve and he's going to try again. They're coming into the start of the last lap behind Jochen Maas in the A2 arrows. And Arnoux does it, does he? And Villeneuve locks up. And Villeneuve has had to go wide and Arnoux's on the inside as they go round Villeroy. He's got the shorter line, he's got second position. He's got second position, he's through, they bang wheels. He's off, he's off, and he's back again. René Arnoux off the circuit and back again and he's and now Villeneuve's in second position and this is the last lap and Villeneuve goes over the corrugations and he nearly loses the front as they go up to Parabolique on the 80th and last lap and he's back he's in second position Villeneuve is second in the Ferrari down to third position goes Arnoux to La Bretel 80th 80th lap in this 80 lap race and there's less than a third of it to go. Now, can Arnu on the tremendously fast La Combe, Cour de Pouar section, 150 miles an hour, get past? They go past Jochen Mars and Jabouille wins. Jean-Pierre Jabouille has won in the Renault, who is going to be second? Villeneuve is at the moment. Arnu is in third position. Into the Cour de Pouar they come. There is Ricardo Patrese, and Villeneuve is second. Arnu is third. Behind them and lapped are Jochen Maas and Jody Schechter and an incredible heart-stopping French Grand Prix.